In February 1831, Jesus Christ gave Joseph Smith the revelation now known as the Law of the Church. In that revelation, the Savior of the world commanded that the elders of the Church preach his gospel to the world. The commandment was both symbolic and formulaic. He was establishing a pattern for missionary work. The pattern followed the archetypes of the polar configuration. The elders were commanded to declare the gospel in loud voices, sounding like a trump. The Lord was not referring to the man-made brass instrument, but to its heavenly archetype. They were to declare the word like the angels of God. These angels are not anthropomorphic beings, but are the winged beings of planetary symbolism. It was these angels that sounded loud and long to the earth in the past, and will do so in the future. In describing his transcendent vision recorded in section 76 of the Doctrine and Covenants, Joseph Smith did so in terms of the planetary archetypes. In part, he claimed that the voice he heard came out of the heavens. The elders were and are to follow this pattern until the kingdom of heaven is in place and not merely at hand. When the new Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven, again sits atop the axis mundi, then the elders can cease because the gathering will be directed from on high. As the kingdom of heaven descends and the ancient polar configuration is reestablished, there will be loud voices coming from out of the heavens the planets. It is from Zion, the new Jerusalem, that the Lamb shall speak to all those on earth. John the Revelator described the angelic voices. The Lord, in his revelation to Joseph Smith, designated as the olive leaf, described these very same angels. They cried with a loud voice and sounded the trump as the sign of the Son of Man appeared to the inhabitants of the earth. As the polar configuration reforms, there will be many more so-called angelic voices sounding from heaven. John records that one of these angels will preach the gospel to the inhabitants of the earth. This angel serves as the heavenly archetype of the terrestrial missionary elder. In another revelation to Joseph Smith, Jesus Christ repeated John's account almost word for word. He then added that his gospel would also go forth through his servants, as in heaven, so on earth. The great day of the Lord will be filled with voices out of heaven, along with the sound of the trump, as the Lord warned the elders of his church. 